Ah, okay. Why? Um, again, I'm trying to get at this whole sense of how you, you think you potentially came out of a vacuum. You don't realize that I have no that, a, idea you didn't I invent from. your language. You didn't invent the language no. that you're speaking. You didn't invent the computer that you're talking on. Uh, the clothes that you're wearing, did you make those clothes? The haircut that I, you have, did you, did you invent the scissors that cut the hair that you have right now? I, I can't say I did, though I would expect okay, did another you, person to have done it. Did you, did you invent the shoes that you're wearing? No, certainly not. Okay, but so you didn't invent no, your clothes, didn't you didn't invent your shoes, and either. so, and so, but no, listen, listen, so this okay. you who became possible through all these other people, that now you can go make unique contributions and contribute, but that you wouldn't even have been possible without all those other people facilitating, and equipping, and outrigging you. You would have been dead, you would have been eaten by wolves. If that's Do you know how helpless I mean, and dependent you were for the first year of your life? The first year of your life, you were utterly it. dependent, and you emerged only by the generosity and care of others. I believe, oh, absolutely. 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 Though their means to generosity were, I mean, where, where did their means to their generosity come from? I mean, if my mother and my father took care of me, or your mother and your father took care of you as they did. Um, part of the great dialogue of history is, was there a first person? Exactly. I mean, that's part of the mystery. There sure. seems to be not one. It's somehow every person came into the world with the world already underway. And that's part of the, well, the dialogue. That's part of the mystery. That's why well, you know, that Bakhtin says there's never a first word or a final word. I mean, that's an interesting observation. Well, and, and, and I agree. I agree it is. Though at the same time, what you're saying here seems different than to account for the shoes and the scissors and the, and the clothing of the world. That those are, are, are just, what, they're the results of something more continuous. They are, what, 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 what are they? I mean, they, uh... they're they they're the proof that you're not an isolated individual, that your individualism, oh, they're, they're the proof that you're unique in a social way. Hmm. See, you have the particular clothing, you have the particular clothing you have, you have the particular computer, you have the particular parents, you have the particular haircut. None of those are non-social. Okay. What would, uh, again, can you give me an idea, give me a concrete example of a non-social uh, uniqueness for both I myself can. and the people? You can. That's the point. <laughs> that see. is the point. There you I go. See. Well, if that's the point then, then what, why, why call it, if there really doesn't exist a non-social uniqueness, then why the, this this difference of, of terminology. Why don't you just call because it uniqueness think, to begin with? See, exactly. I mean, this, this, is, this is a wonderful question. I think tons of people, when you talk with them, they think society's over there and then I'm over here. Hmm. They set it up like that. They sort of go, there's the society and here I am. Mm -hmm. well, that can't be right. Also something, well, and there's also something to be said about the individual coming into the ongoing dialogue that suddenly now I can be aware of something that is ongoing independent of me where before right. I was not able to perceive that's it. That's right. That's right. Though in that, though in that we do have to recognize some amount of individualism that something exists. That's right, but never in a non-social way. Very good. Very okay. good. <laughs> yes, very sir. good. As long as no, we're in agreement no with that, right. I got no problem with it. Yeah, very good. Right. No, I think that that's right. This, see, this, okay, see Bakhtin has this wonderful, see, his whole ethics is so important on this, because what he's going to say is that um, it, to, to get at ethics is to deal with uniqueness, and uniqueness is answerability to particular others. Answerability, response ability, the ability to respond to particular others. I don't respond to the society. I respond to particular others. And it's those particular mm. others that sort of hold me in a unique constellation. 
And by particular others, you mean other people, or you mean what? Yeah, like you, like you and I, right here. Okay. Like we're we are a particular relation right now. And part of what makes me unique is my relationship to you. I see. Okay, I'm. And so I, if I you want to think that, how, how is Corey unique? Okay, so how am I unique? I'm unique because. I'm married to Valerie, and I'm talking to you, and I'm the son of, you know, Ron and Sue. And I mean, all, when you start to lay out all mm. these particulars, it's um, – let me, let, me, let me try it a different way, okay? And I, I, I talked mm -hmm. about this in another video, but maybe this will be helpful. Uh, George Steiner, in a book called Real Presences, he has a wonderful discussion about the problem of sociality. And a different way to say it is sociality is your condition, not an occasional experience. You're social mm -hmm. in your being – See, see, language is learned from other people, right? Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't spontaneously learn to speak. If anything, you spontaneously babble. If no one responds to that babbling, mm -hmm. the babbling period comes and goes, and the baby doesn't even realize it was the source of the babbling. But if the babbling is responded to, the baby learns to speak, right? For many people, they think that language is not natural because it's learned from other people. But the truth is you're naturally social. If you're naturally social, it shouldn't come as a surprise that you learn language from other people. But just because you learn language from other people doesn't mean that it's not natural. See, this again is an example of this dynamic. Okay, so Steiner says there's a painter, and this painter creates a painting, and it's, it's a good painting, and then he thinks maybe it's a bad painting, and he can't decide how other people will think about the painting. He can't decide will they think bad things of him will they think good things and so he destroys the painting in an attempt to keep others from looking at it and making their appraisal and then he asks the question did the destruction of the painting avoid the presence of the others hmm. it and you know what he no, says no it didn't avoid what does he say right he says no he says that the destruction of the painting is the presence of the others that you're social uh -huh. in your very being. You're social in your being. It's not that you're occasionally in environments that have other people. You are fundamentally social. Hmm. Being, right, being that the only thing he's trying to guard against is, is this compulsion to destroy his own work, which he did already, I see. Which he yes. wouldn't have done. I mean, it's sort of like the others have already entered into the most inner precincts of mind that you can't get rid of the other. To speak is to have already been otherized from the inside out. Yeah, well, sounds good to me. <laughs> well, hey, you know, it's we're now at 38 minutes, and it is 11 oh o'clock at night Lord, here. Oh, my Lord, it went so quickly. I can't believe that all that went. It did. I'm sorry it if did. I was it talking too much. No, no, not at all. That's that's precisely why I do this, to to make me talk less. But uh, no, th that was absolutely enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. That was fantastic. Thank you so much, Jonathan. That was really cool. Um, yeah. I'm happy to talk any time with you again. You know, hey, we can talk about something we'll else sometime. sometime. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Maybe 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 okay. capitalism. Maybe capitalism. Let's uh, talk about <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> Let's talk about or about the major media, yeah, about the major media right. and how much people have become commercials. They they willingly turn themselves into a commercial. I mean, we're doing it right here on YouTube, but as the people are, are increasingly, they've turned themselves into a product. Right on. Well, we'll have to do it. <laughs> Sounds cool. All right, Professor.